Hey guys, um, I'm back. You know, last in the video we did a little bit of house hunting and decided I was going to settle in on this Silverstead place. Right. Silverstead? Something like that. Anyway, and I started building it. It turns out it's not just a house, it's a whole little town that you own. So I went ahead and built the whole town. And um, I, I haven't furnished the, the house, but I've got everything to furnish the house completely. So we're going to show you the Kinda town a little bit. Feel like wearing clothes that day. Okay, One man Sophia. nearly choked to death on a piece of bread when he saw me, and the other fell over a bridge and nearly drowned. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the town, and then we're going to go to the house, and I'm going to build everything and fill it up. Okay, so here's the little village. <laughs> Stables. Little marketplace. Um, a married couple that are, are uh, the smithing people. Um, I have a barracks for the followers. And also have one in my house too. So I guess I can have as many followers hanging out as I want. So, and this is it. I'm not going to run through the whole thing. But I mean, it's, it, you know, it's... No, you know what? This actually goes into my house. I'm sorry. Because I was looking the other day, and I came through that door, and came down here, and I'm like, I guess I furnished this already. This is, So this that will lead up into my house from here. So, okay. And then it has its own inn, complete with bar and bard and everything. Um, I have the immersive winches mod in here, so there's probably a winch or two in here. That's what they call them, not me. They're barmaids, but in typical old pirate movie fashion with winches they're dressed scantily um so anyways cool place it's got places to stay um i'm super impressed now we're gonna go up and build a house because the stores are the stores i mean you know um because i also have an alchemist down here and a general trader down here too i just think that fountain's kind of cool um, so there's the alchemist and there's the general trader. Uh, oh, I also have guard barracks up here too. I furnished them already as well. I think. I'm not going to go into them. But there's the, the barracks for the for the guards. And we're going up to the house. Go inside and get all the materials. And just build everything. And now... I want to go ahead and tell you that the uh, the screen may flash. It seems like for some reason with this mod, as you're building things, about every one or two things you build, the screen flashes and it says an hour has passed or whatever. So this pro hopefully there's probably gonna be a lot of screen flashing. Okay, I, now take all of it, and now I'm super weighed down. Seven thousand seventy nine hundred, and I can only carry fourteen hundred. So this is gonna be a while. So, let's just build all this stuff, and then I'll turn it and show it all to you. As we slowly walk to the next section of the house to build it. See what I mean? Night. I try to just go through it, and it says you can go through it, but then and continue to say yes, even though you can't see the screen. But for some reason, it won't build them, so I always stop. I'll try to get as many done as I can before it. Did I get it? Okay. So now the main part of the house is built. And I'm going to walk very so I've got fount I've got waterfalls in my house. Nice dining area and fireplace. Oh, and check this out. Because it's um, Dwemer, you know, and everything's run by steam and buttons and all this kind of stuff. Let's just come over here. Evidently, it has a gas fireplaces. <laughs> and is it then, just me, or does it sound a little inappropriate when the guards tell people to stop lollygagging? Oh God! <laughs> she is. Dog, move! I'm gonna punch you in a minute. Thank you. Jeez, Louise. I already moved slow enough, and then I got. Bookcases over here. Not as many as I would like. But these are special to put in, I think. Some of these are special places to put in, like Elder Scrolls and your black books and things like that. So it actually has places to display most of your stuff. 
it actually built the Thieves Guild um, treasure shelf and transported it here. So all that was down at the um, Thieves Guild. Now we're getting into the bedroom areas. So let's go over here and build this stuff. I know this is this is tedious, but I wanted you to see the blank to the full filled out place. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I hope it built those things. I guess it did. here here's these rooms now this is gonna be the children's bedroom and you can um, you can also get a multiple adoption mod to go with it I mean they suggest that you do because you can adopt up to six kids because you got room for six kids and I'd read somewhere that there was actually a Khajiit kid that mod but I can't find it anywhere maybe it's PC only um, or it was buggy and didn't work oh my gosh this dog but you know what I'm gonna tell you go home Go home. Just go home. Go home. Go. Go. Shoo. I can come back and get you when I come down and get Serana. Cause I'm going to bring my followers back here too. And house them. So this is the bedroom. This is the master bedroom. I figured there'd have been a fireplace in here. But anyway. So, and it's, you know, it's built into the mountain, so you kind of got a window into a cave here. Or maybe that is a cave that you can actually access. I don't know. So, you know, are you going to, okay, so let me go around her. And we've got this part done. Now let's go downstairs and do all the armory and all of that. Oh, there's a bathroom over here. Oh, and there's... All of those guys. I didn't notice that before. So you have a hot tub that you can sit and soak in. Notice there's chairs. There's seats for three. Hmm. Sink. And a sh I'm assuming that's a shower. A working shower. That's pretty funny. I mean... I'm sorry, they, this is just, I'm really impressed with this house mod. The other ones can just sit and run. I'm going to live here. Oh, and there's another mod, because there's tons of orphans in this in this game. There's another mod I saw that somebody had where they basically did a children's home. Um, it's a, but it, it's almost like a Hogwarts kind of thing. And, uh. So that's kind of cool. All the all the um, children in Skyrim, all the orphans in Skyrim, basically you can send them all there to live. All right, now that's going to be the big armory over there. Now, and it's pretty big, but it's nothing like that stinking castle that we saw before. All right. And I think that may have built everything. Cause I think. All right, so let me let me put all the rest of this stuff in the chest here, just so I can move. I don't want all that. I want to put my stuff away. Oh, it did. I guess. 
Well, it did enough so I can move at least. So I've got my own. I wonder if that stuff will respawn. That'd be nice if it did. Probably not. So I've got my own area for stuff. Oh, man. And it. Oh, these are just weapons that I've. Oh. It's themed stuff. So search swords. Oh. So you can, like, store all your different stuff. So, like, all your swords can go in there? Is that how that works? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. So maybe you can store all of your stuff in here in different areas. That would be cool. All right. And then you've got uh, your alchemy area and your enchanting area here. And that's even a staff enchanter where you can enchant your own staffs. I don't know exactly what that's for. I, I'll have to look that up. I don't know. Okay. Let's go in here and check this stuff out. Oh, I... Uh, I disabled the... the uh, This one, the Skyrim Special Edition patch... Um, because for some reason it creates a display glitch with these things and they turn all like this glowy blue look. So I disabled it just so that we could see it in the way it's supposed to look. So I have all these mannequins. To, did he just move? Oh, no, that's just freaky. I didn't notice that. They actually move. That's... That's stinking weird. That's just kind of creepy. That's just kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know that I like that. <laughs> anyway, so plenty of storage space to display stuff. All these mannequins. There's supposed to be a place where I can store all the dragon priest masks and all the iron claw, I mean all the, you know, dragon claws and stuff. And what's down here? No, that's to the barracks. That's where we were earlier. That already built. So I'm trying to find where that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I wanted to just show you this place and show you where everything is and what goes here. Oh, that's your butterfly. Okay. All right. Cool. So I can put all my little those things there. I don't know what that is. Um. Dude, there's just so much in here. I don't even know what to do with it. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, let's go out here. I want to show you. What's this? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And here's the view that you get. Now, it's covered, so it's not a, the best because it's covered. You know, this is just big open air stuff. But it's still a great view, especially if you walk up and you, and you can, you know, you can plant. You got planters. So, I'll get up here. And there's Markarth over there. Whoa, don't want to... Here, let me get over here a second. So over there, there's Markarth. All right. And, uh... Oop, I hear a dragon. There's a dragon. Oh, that one looks like that might... I don't know. Another legendary dragon, I'm not sure. But anyway. So nice view of the, of the waterfall. Get over here. Nice view of the sun rises that's kind of cool if it just wasn't so cloudy there's my little town down there so it's just pretty much one-stop shopping for everything you'd want or need more waterfalls so that's basically silverstead silverstead that's what this is called um so now i want to start the business of moving the family here and getting all my stuff and get it here and get it displayed. I want to find the Dragon Priest stuff. And the, uh... Now, see, this is, this is something that I've always wondered. Why they put multiple enchanters in a house. But anyway. Oh, these are your, this is where you put your black books. Okay. Oh, can I put them there? Okay, I don't have that one. Hello. 
last man who said okay, so I'm missing two. And she'd go back to that knitting. Bookshelf. Of his words when I punched him into oblivion. I think I was put on my books. For quite a while What's after it? that. And I bet it wasn't a woman serving it. But I'm just wondering where all my dragon... Because I know there's a place for the dragon priest masks. And for... The... There they are. What's this? Is this them? What's this? Oh, those are actually... Those are little representations of all the stones. So you ain't got to travel to the stones. They're right there for you. This, this dude, whoever did this, pretty much thought of everything you can think of. Uh, oh, this is just amulets. You can collect and put those there. What's here? This is wardrobe. Journals. And here... All interior workbenches, and able the supply chest. Well, I'll get to that later, but you can press those buttons and clear everything out. So I've got to find, and you know, when I get everything all in here and stuff, I will bring you guys back through for a tour, a housewarming tour, um, complete with kids. I'll probably adopt me a couple more. I really want that Khajiit kid, but. Find them anywhere. So, the dragon print, all that stuff must be downstairs. I did not see it though. So, I want to go back through and make sure everything's done. Um, and then I want to take all the stuff out of the supply chest and then clear all those out. Don't need those in here anymore. So, anyway, so that's Silverstead. Pretty stinking awesome if you play the game and you're going to do mods and you want to get a nice big house, custom house. I would go with this one. Of the ones that I looked at, this is the one I would do. So, um, yeah, I guess what I'll do now is I'll go invite the family to move in. And then I'll start just moving everything over. Yeah, I noticed when I was making it, when I was building stuff, because I, I built everything to make sure I had enough materials, and I wasn't going to just sit there and run out of materials before I finish everything. So I did a dry run, and there was something in there about standing stone, and I'm like, why do I, what, what's, what's the deal with having a standing stone in here? But evidently, um, it gives you all the standing stones in the game right there, so you can transfer out anytime you want to. So I see this is a nice view from the front porch. you got the mountains all the way across, all the way and of course, you can see out as far as you can go. So, all right. So let's go invite the family to move in, which would be here. I wonder, do I get a house Carl? I mean, I've got a house Carl at this house. Does he come too? Because there was nothing about hiring a house, Carl. But anyway, I need to get going. So, um, uh, there won't be any kind of broadcasting or YouTube videos over the weekend. Um, I've got to go to Seattle for work tomorrow. We'll be gone all weekend, be back Sunday night. So, <laughs> yes, buddies, no drunk watch for me. Um, and uh, no Rainbow Six, no for the weekend, sorry. And, you know, my luck, being a huge Seahawks fan, last time I was up in Seattle for work a couple months ago, it was it was the one week they were on a bye week. Go figure. Second time up there, they're actually in the playoffs. They're playing this weekend, and I'm flying out of Atlanta to go to Seattle. And Seattle, Could the Seahawks are playing allowance? Atlanta in Atlanta. It's just my typical luck. So anyway, yeah, Thanks. here's some money. Sure, have a quarter. Um, all right. And also did another. Um, I want to. I want so to change her clothes when we move. Thank you. Time. To, it's time for you to. Uh, Hello, my love. We my have money. a cozy little profit here. Which means I haven't been this home in 28 days. Share, love. <laughs> Uh, how are the kids? Fine, love. I think the fresh air does wonders for all of us. Great. And this house, 
It's just perfect. Yeah, well, you know what? We're about to move. Oh? Where? Um, no. Why does it not let me... It's supposed to let me get them to move there. How do I get them to Goodbye, move there? So, evidently, I'm not doing that yet. Um, so... And she looks better than she did before, but she still doesn't sing yes, very well. Yes, my love? What do you need? Yeah, I did one of those things, and, and it just... It smooths their complexion because you know some have really nasty complexions, but yes, it, it's just what do you too need? smooth. Look at that. And so I've tried to find other ways to make I it better, but not that bad. But I haven't shield. figured it out yet. So anyway, um, I guess yes, I got to figure love. out how to move my family there. Need? But that will be the next step, and um, we'll start probably my next Honor broadcast will be starting today. the. Um, that modded um, storyline, The Forgotten City. I'll probably run us through that. It's, it's supposed to be really good. But before we start into it, I'll, I'll show you the house when it's all set up. And uh, with everybody there and all the hustle and bustle and the kids running around and everything. So, um, thanks. It was kind of a short broadcast, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw Silverstead. So, I'm homesteading there now. And uh, we'll start to, start to move the family and all the equipment there. So... Um, please, if y'all would, just like and subscribe and comment and share um, out there. I'd like to get some more followers just for the heck of it. Um, I'm not trying to make money. I just like the idea of putting stuff out there for people to see. So, um, anyway, have a good night. I will see y'all next week. Um, I've got a couple of broadcasts that I've done that I will slowly be able to add to YouTube. So, I'll have a couple more to add over the weekend, maybe. But won't be doing any more broadcasts until next week, most likely. So y'all have a good night. Have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy the weekend playoff football. And go Hawks!